Hey everyone, I'm on vacation, but the news doesn't stop. I have to bring a video for the channel. The algorithm is my boss. So let's go. Elon Musk has just launched a competitor to Google VO3, which is the most advanced video generation artificial intelligence, and I've already brought several tests here on the channel. Later, at the end of the video, we'll talk more about it. I'll also leave some recommendations, but Musk has just launched this video AI. We're going to cover this news, but basically I'll say it's very advanced and has that special Elon Musk touch, which means it's practically without censorship and it's going to have an adult video mode, right? That's what you're hearing, but I'll give you more details during the video. We're going to react to the news here, so at the end of the video, I'll leave his channel for you to subscribe, okay? Let's go then. But first, obviously, you already know, comment below, are you already generating videos with artificial intelligence? If you are, which artificial intelligence do you like the most? Runaway, Minimax, Google VO3? What is your favorite? Comment below. Let's go straight to it then. Three, two, one, go. It's called Grok Imagine and it creates videos with sound in just six seconds. This tool is so powerful that it's scaring Google and OpenAI. And the best part is that most people still have no idea that it exists. I've been testing AI tools for years. I've seen all of them appear and disappear. But what Musk just launched with Grok Imagine is different. And I'm not talking about a small update here. This is huge. Most people think Grok is just another chatbot. They are wrong. What the Elon Musk team has just launched is a complete creative suite that is about to turn the entire AI industry on its head. Look what happened. Elon announced that Grok can now create videos, not just any videos. We're talking about AI generated videos with synchronized audio in six seconds. Well, let me give my opinion. Basically, what is the big differentiator of Google VO3? Besides the excellent quality, it also generates a soundtrack. It generates effects as well. So the music in the background, for example, it generates the sound of a person walking, stepping in puddles. It generates that sound effect too. In addition, it also generates dialogues and it also generates lip sync. It has surpassed all of them. Now, Elon Musk, besides the differentiators of no censorship and freedom of expression, which I'll talk about a little later, this AI is the first one after Google VO3 to generate videos with synchronized sound effects, right? Still no dialogues, but already synchronized sound effects. Let's take a look here. Let's analyze it. If you go to X and type Grok Imagine in the search, you'll find results from the community, the people who are already testing it. Let's see how it's working here. Basically, you can generate the video through text and also through an image by animating an image. Here you can see it's very realistic. This one was from an image. So they sent a picture of a penguin. And as you can see, the penguin is swimming. Remember, when you send an image, you can also put a text here to help the artificial intelligence with the animation. Otherwise, the AI will freely invent an action for that character in the photo. The AI will kind of suggest an action, but if you add a text, you have more control, then you might be asking yourself, hey, Rodrigo, but what about the audio you mentioned, which is one of the big differentiators to compete with Google VO3? Look, some videos have sound, others don't. This one of this woman that is very well made, let's take a look. Well, first we can see it's very well made and it was from text right? Because there's no image here. And we're hearing the sound of both the environment and the rain. Uh, very interesting here. What else can we see? We can see a child's drawing, right, of an eight-year-old, as it says here in the prompt. And then it animated it, right? It made a cool animated fish. Let's see if this one has sound. Look how cool. It's a woman coming out of the frame. Look at the very realistic shadow effects here. And the music, the background sound is very interesting. So it generates music and also generates sound effects. Very interesting. Here it sounds like the hum of an old television commercial. And here the sky's the limit, right? Look at Elon Musk flying. And this was a scene from the time Donald Trump was running for president 
and Elon Musk was supporting him, right? And then we see him flying like Iron Man. So many, many, many videos that I'll even skip to avoid problems here on YouTube, but it's very well done. It has a lot of potential. Remembering that it's still in beta, it's in testing, and the forecast is around October 2025. Comment below what you thought of these results. Is it on the right track? Remembering that it's the first version, looking at it here for the first time, do you believe it has potential? Did you like it? What do you think? Let's continue the video here with more information. And it's going to have a mode that I'll give more details about the adult mode that we haven't seen in any video artificial intelligence. If you put the words video generation and adult together, you probably already kind of know what I'm talking about, right? But let's go. Now I'll pass the floor here to the video specialist. You're typing what you want. And look, they're calling this the Imagine feature developed by something called Aurora. This is a beta test that crashes every five minutes. This is real. This is working. And people are already creating insane content with it. But here's where it gets interesting. Remember Vine? That app that Twitter killed in 2017? The one where everyone made those six second videos that went viral? Well, Elon literally said he would bring Vine back, but in AI form. Think about that for a second. Vine created an entire generation of content creators, launched careers, changed the way we consume content, and now Elon is doing it again, but this time, the AI creates the videos for you. I know what you're thinking, Julian. This sounds too good to be true. I thought the same thing until I saw the demos, until I saw what this thing can actually do. Here's a real example. An XAI employee typed cat purring while walking through space. Six seconds later, boom, there's a video of a cat purring, walking through space with sound. Another person typed astronaut walking through an alien landscape. Six seconds later, another perfect video. But wait, it gets even crazier. There's something called spicy mode. Now I'm not going to go into all the details here because YouTube has rules, but let's just say this one has fewer restrictions than others. Well, I'll give my opinion on this matter. Basically, I made some videos about Grox Advanced and Adult Mode. I made the Advanced Voice Mode, that assistant that talks to you, and it has an assistant that Besides the medical mode, health mode, relaxation mode, business mode, it has the adult mode for ages 18 and up. And basically, you can say whatever you want, and the person will respond with very, very spicy things about relationships, something very intimate, so to speak. I'll leave this video for you to watch later. But in addition to that, Grok recently launched Companion Avatars which can be your friend, can be your girlfriend, and so on. And what did he do? He united this advanced adult voice assistant with the avatars as well. And then you can effectively not only talk and hear a voice, but also have the visual feedback, right, of the character, which for now doesn't have realistic characters. They're more like those Japanese anime, but very soon for sure, you'll have a realistic avatar, right? And now to advance on this topic, you'll be able to generate videos of content, that content you must be imagining since it's content for adults, right? I want you to leave in the comments what you think about this. In my opinion, I believe this. Regardless of whether you'll use it or not, if the company's focus is to make money, since we are in a capitalist world, Elon Musk is really hitting one after another, right? I've already commented in my videos here that the number one market that makes the most money in the world is the adult market. The second and third places are competing between Hollywood movies and Formula One. So if the idea is to make money, I'm not talking about ethics. I'm talking about money. He's getting it right, right? But I'll develop this reasoning a little more later. Let's move on here. I'll pass the floor here back to the specialist. An XAI employee literally posted that Grok Imagine videos have a spicy mode that can handle nudity and provocative content. Now, before you get too excited, there's a catch. It's not free. To get early access, you need something called Super Grok. This costs $30 a month. Expensive? Maybe. But think about what you're getting. 
you're getting access to an AI that can create viral videos in seconds. Videos that would take hours to record, edit, and produce, all by typing a few words. If you're a content creator, a marketing professional, or anyone who needs video content, this is a huge deal. But the problem is, most people don't know. The full launch won't be until October 2025. Right now, only employees and influencers are testing it, but you can get on the waiting list and believe me, you want to be first in line, everything else that exists out there. First, it's built on the Aurora model. This thing was trained on billions of internet examples. This means it understands the world better than almost any other AI model. But here's what's really crazy. Aurora was launched in December 2024 for images and was already impressing people. High quality photorealistic images from text prompts. It could render precise visual details, real world entities, text, logos, realistic portraits, and even memes. Then, in July 2025, they expanded to video, and that's when everything changed. Second, it creates several variations of your video each time. So you're not stuck with one option, you have choices. You can choose the best one or use all four for different platforms. You can even favorite and customize it further. Third, it adds sound automatically, not just background music, but real sound effects that match what's happening in the environment. I'll give my opinion on this. The first thing that is a big differentiator and has always been about Elon Musk is the issue of having practically no restrictions. When he started generating photos, you could and still can create photos of famous people, artists, actors, important people, presidents, political figures, company CEOs. So you can simply create real people in situations that are practically unlimited including also taking characters that have their, uh, basically, intellectual property. So a Disney's Mickey, Marvel characters, Star Wars characters, and so on, you can also create them, which is very difficult with other artificial intelligences. In addition, you can now also create sound effects, which can only be created there on Google VEO3. So the second interesting point when Elon Musk announced this issue of adult characters, adult voice assistant, and so on, we didn't imagine he would go so far, right? And that social network for adults, OnlyFans, for example, imagine you combining an advanced artificial intelligence to create adult videos and then being able to create content for a social network like that, you can make a lot of money. Basically, I have a mentorship called AI Master Monetization, and I practically teach you how to take the main artificial intelligences and create a source of income. I haven't had any mentee yet who asked to monetize with this type of content, but for sure, if a student ever comes in who wants to create a digital influencer, for example, to create this type of content, I can certainly teach them. It's not illegal, so to speak, right? In fact, I know people who are making a lot of money with it. But if you want to create channels for YouTube, I have 12 channels, 10 monetized in other languages that I have in Portuguese, English, Spanish, German, or create a digital product, or be an affiliate, or create a mentorship. That is, create up to 10 sources of income like the 10 I have, I can certainly help you. In fact, I have three channels that create cinematic videos 100% with AI. I monetize them and YouTube pays. Very well, thank you. So, if you want this type of help, I'll leave the link in the video description and pinned in the first comment, besides there being a QR code here now that you can also point your phone at, okay? So, back to the topic, the three main differentiators for me are the issue of Elon Musk releasing characters without copyright. You can create any type of actor, actress, real people. In addition, you also have this issue of being able to create videos there, so to speak, adult. In addition, the issue of being able to add sound effects. Let's continue here. I'll pass the floor back to the video specialist. That video of the purring cat I mentioned, the purring sound was generated by the AI. The video of footsteps in the alien landscape was also generated by the AI. This is next level stuff. Video AI tools 
generate silent videos, you have to add your own audio, not with Grok. It handles everything, but here's what no one is talking about. The real game changer is not just video generation, it's integration. This entire system works within the Grok app on iOS and Android. Additionally, it's integrated with X, the former Twitter. You don't need separate tools, you don't need to export and import files, everything happens in one place. The system also allows you to remix pre-generated visuals. So if you see a cool video that someone else made, you can use it as inspiration and create your own version. This is creative flexibility like we've never seen before. Now some experts are starting to weigh in on this. Dr. Amina Patel, an AI ethics expert, said, The Imagine features are impressive, but the potential for harm is real. We need automated watermarking and provenance systems. Rajas Kuma, CTO of Media Ford, said, We welcome the competition. X.AI's real-time inference optimizations drive the entire industry forward. And Laura Shen, a digital rights advocate, warned, Non-consensual fakes are not a matter of if, but when. Platforms must adopt identity verification and removal protocols before launch. I'll give my opinion on this. I believe that Elon Musk will ignore this whole issue of, oh, I'm going to put a watermark. Oh, I'm going to worry about copyrights, especially since he's releasing it for everyone. Everyone is creating images the way they want. And it has never caused a problem to the point of being taken down, to the point of him changing any strategy. And other AIs, after they saw that there was no problem, are releasing it. ChatGPT itself, which used to not be able to create images of famous people, brands, and also video, is now allowing it. With Google VO3, I have already created short films of She-Man, Mortal Kombat, Superman, and so far it has been 100% released even though Google was the most rigorous and is now releasing it. So, in principle, as there are no issues with lawsuits and so on, I believe that aside from something more, well, now I'm in adult mode, right? I was going to say maybe adult things and maybe things like weapons, those things perhaps, but in Elon Musk's case, he's releasing everything. Now, I want to know from you all, were you excited about this new video generator? Do you think these differentiators of Elon Musk that I mentioned, being more open, not worrying this adult mode anyway, did you like it or do you think it's absurd or are you worried? If money were not a problem, would you pay for this subscription to create these videos? Comment below because I want to know. If you already generate videos, leave which video AI you use. Remember that this video doesn't end now. It continues with us talking in the comments. I just opened up some topics for us to talk about. I'll leave some artificial intelligence videos here for you to continue with me. See you in the comments and in these videos here. So long.